Well, welcome back everybody to the stream. We are going to be starting soon. Thanks everyone for watching. And shout out to all of you in Anderson Chapel. Y'all better stay after once the game is over because we're going to be heading your way.
Looks like the game's about to start. Uh, joining me is now. I'm I'm Hunter Hunter Jibben. I'm part of the JV Esports team, and I'm gonna help commentate. I feel I was told I bring the energy, so yeah. All right. Well, it looks like that the teams are starting off with a lag test just to Three, see if there's two, any delay going on. One, go! <laughs> These odds are these are not going to be the characters that they will be showing off to start with, but just to see if there's anything going on. Still like to be. This does look like we still the match. It looks like this might actually be the match I was going for. The Rob is starting off with a really good lead here. Oh, and taking its stock really quickly into the game. Dan was trying to edge guard there, but Rob's just not going to let him take any more hits. So strong. It's interesting seeing North Central starting out with their anchor. Not a play that you'd normally see in the game, although I do think that it is going to end up starting them off with a really quick lead. It's definitely the kind of mix-up that you'd expect to see in a championship match. Well, it seems like it's working for them pretty well right now. Beautiful combo right off the end there. Damn, it's choosing to cover high. A Nair from the Rob. Absolutely beautiful combo. Just like that. Oh, should have right picked that! Rob is not looking to lose a, lose a stock in this first game. North Central can get a quick start to this game by getting a three stock. It'll be very, it'll be a very good start to the set. Very huge lead. Sam is just trying to keep her distance at this point. Rob be able to close it. Beautiful fair by the Samus there. Followed into an up air. Rob's trying to get back on the ledge. Playing a little more defensive. Now. It's just, ooh, close one. Samus almost Rob's getting not dead yet. Rob is just having a hard time regaining his place on the stage. Samus just does not want to give in. Oh, Rob deciding to choose a different location, but he runs out of gas. That's unfortunate. That is an unfortunate placement. Sam just does not want to get into this fight right now. Rob's not happy about that, I can tell you that. Beautiful side B. Oh, and almost a spike. Rob's looking to secure the kill, but... Samus just does not want to go. <laughs> Both people are just playing a very neutral game, unsure about who wants to do what. Rod falling up with the laser, unable to block the power blast. Oh, and the Rob calls out to get up. Almost securing a kill against the Samus. Will the Rob be... Oh, oh and, and that's Samus it. just killed himself by 
doing a bad recovery there. Rob comes in, that is one stock down for NCU and three for Truman. Very strong opening for North Central University. Very good look from the Rob. It'd be interesting to see who they send out next. Yeah, the Rob played very aggressive there, taking two stocks without hitting over 20%. It was a really powerful start and is definitely a scary person to go up against. Be interested to see if uh, Truman decides to send out one of their... Uh, if Truman decides to meet the anchor with another anchor, or if they're going to go in trying to meet it with someone that they believe can just take them the last few remaining stocks from the Rob. What are your thoughts? Not sure. I heard their best matchup is the Palatina, so maybe they'll send out that their anchor. We don't know. Definitely an interesting thought. We have a great lead right now. Well, it'll be interesting to see how they adjust the rest of this game and going into the next game. I know in this scenario, if I were Truman, I'd definitely want to send out someone like the Palatina or the Incineroar because they gave the Rob for a run for his money in the last time they played. But North Central coming in with a really strong... We're not Beautiful looking to lead. lose this set. They're looking to win this championship game at all costs. Even Unfortunately, we could not secure the three stock, but things are looking pretty good for North Central right now. Very true. Looking at how the Rob's been playing, be interested to see if what kind of stage Truman is going to be trying to uh, pick to try and get the stage that just is not good for Rob. Any thoughts on that? No, I am very bad at understanding stage placement, unfortunately. That is why I'm on the DAV team. But stages are very important to understanding how to better combat the other team's character and understanding their play style. So it'd be interesting to see how Truman responds to the threat of Rob right now. Out of curiosity, who do you predict that Truman will be sending in next? Probably the, the Palu or... Ready? No, they said oh, they can. An interesting character. One that I was not expecting to see. Not at all. I'm ready. Going back into the small Go. battlefield for the fight. Rob having to take the stock off. Both getting ready to come in. Rob coming off with the first hit. Ken matching the damage with a single hit. The Rob is definitely trying to get more hits in, but just the damage that Ken does with each little combo is definitely matching up to how much Rob has been hitting him. Good grab, Rob. There. What Rob needs to, uh, to do is to maintain his distance and use his bullet dials. This Ken does not have a reliable way to get close. Rob just sitting there spamming his down tilt, not wanting to give the Ken a chance. Oh, it forces him off stage. With that, Rob takes the first stock there. Now, even with Rob sitting at 4%, Beautiful counter. But Rob just does not want to lose another stock. He's, he sat there watching Samus round. He lost a stock. He's looking at this one and saying, I do not intend to lose another stock. Wouldn't get a three stock in the first match. I'm going to get it now. First Central is coming out very strong. Now up four stocks. Rob just trying to get the Ken off stage, Ken not wanting to move, just sitting in the middle, trying to do his very best at all costs. Oh, and sure you can the Ken. Rob's doing a fantastic job of keeping the pressure out, however. Fortunate place for there. But the Rob's still looking to win this match, and he believes that if he can just take out the Ken, that he will have done a great push for his team, taking a full two people off their side. Ken still trying to stay in the middle of the stage. He really doesn't want to get forced out. Oh, that's another stop. Will Rob be able to take the last stock from Ken? 
If I'm able to do this, fun, North Central would have an insane lead against Truman. Beautiful counter from Rob. Already matching the damage that he had from that last stop. Rob is looking to finish off the can without dying. Beautiful counter again. Bold and began to stay near the at Legend stage, knowing what the Rob wants to do with him. Both people start to take it a little slower, but the Rob just would not relent. Oh, and Gyro taking Rob right off the stage. Ooh, and a messed up Shuriken gives Rob a good up air against him. This is anyone's match right now. Be interesting. It's just who can land the killing blow at this point. Oh, but the Rob's like more a patient. Not yet. with a dash attack. Either person would be taken out by any single attack and the uh, end that game. It. That was good. Still, a great first character from North Central uh, taking out a full five stocks with three. Gives North Central a lead of two whole stocks. This is big for North Central. Let's see if they can keep up the momentum. Ken coming in. I think it's very likely that North Central will want to send out the DDD after how just, just how much the DDD bullied Ken in the last game that they played together. If not the DDD, I would believe that it's likely that North Central will probably send out uh, the Samus, as a zoner does tend to outrange the Chodos and be able to keep it within their fight zone, deciding just, like, where do we want to fight? We want to fight at this distance, because he can't hit me, but I can hit him. Ready? Oh, and the Rob coming in again? Oh, it mistake like on North Central's part. Looks... <laughs> yeah. Beautiful game from both the Kenna and the Rob there. Just a really close one. I'm sure Rob's a little frustrated that he couldn't secure that last kill. No, but he did a fantastic job starting off for North Central, and he'll probably get it back next game, hopefully. Yeah. North Central can just keep the lead that they have. That would be absolutely wonderful. As of right now, they're doing a fantastic job. Let's see if the rest of the team can keep it up. So, based on seeing how the Ken's been playing, what do you think would be a good strategy for North Central? Definitely to keep their range. Okay. Rob did a great job. Rob is great in all scenarios, just really all around doing a great job of keeping his distance and then punishing when getting close. Samus would be a great option. Mega Man would even be a good option, but I feel like he may be utilized later for better matchups. See? I feel like the DDD is a wild card. It's such a unique character that you would see in the varsity field, but I think with that kind of uniqueness and difference in character play style, it throws the competitors off of what they're typically used to. Yeah, finding a character as low ranked as the DDD out in the wild is like finding a four leaf clover. Something that you're just not prepared for, and that. The level of skill that the DDD has been bringing to this game, as well as just the unfamiliar matchup, he might just be able to steal that last stop from the Ken if needed. But it'll be interesting to see if North Central finds sending in their anchor first was a good play, or if it ended up give, uh, causing them to stumble in. And they're sending the DDD in. Like the DDD is looking for a rematch against the Ken after the last game. He's saying, I plan to end it the same way that it went last time. I'm ready Three, two, Small bat one, again. Go! Ken just taking off his two stocks. DDD just waiting there. Match is just about to begin. Here it begins. Ken getting the first few hits off. DDD want to keep him at ledge, perhaps just waiting to get a quick little uh, 
quickly wants to eat him and just walk off the ledge, it would be a quick way to finish the game. The problem with that is you can combo so easily, and that's one stop. The DDD just unsure what to do there, not follow up, my sword smash. The immunity from the DDD gives him a free from the F smash. Let's see if the DDD can end it here. Looks like the Ken's learned a little something from the last match. He does not want to end the same way. He's looking for one more stock if he can. DDD, is he going to let him back on stage? Oh, beautiful grab. Wanted to keep the game. Oh, and he teched it. That was a beautiful tech. Is that oh, but... Oh, just not barely. Not the spot yet. Being able to DI to stay wasn't their thing. But it could not save him. You got a beautiful... Down tilt, just pulls the kill off. That gives North Central a lead of one or two stocks now. Two stocks. Two Unfortunately, DD gave a stock away, but that's kind of what happens when you play heavies. You get caught in unfortunate combos very easily, and then you just give up stuff that other characters don't give up as much. Especially with the character as close as Ken, it must have been tough to deal out that damage without uh, giving away too much percentage like we saw in that first stop. Yeah. Interested to see who they will be sending out against the DDD. I think a that either the Mewtwo, the Palatina, or the Incineroar could be a good play against them. I don't think they have really any losing matchups that they might play against the DDD. If I can remember correctly, the Mewtwo played pretty well against the DDD last time. Is that correct? Um, it does look that way. DDD so I, I would assume problem. they would either send out Mewtwo or if they feel like they can get through DDD pretty easily, they might pick a more favorable matchup for either the Samus or the Mega Man. If DDD can just get rid of this last person, and then they can come in with two people to deal with the anchor, that might secure the win from North Central, but it all depends on whether or not they can get past these next few people. Two people left on uh, Truman's side, and three on North Central with one stock down. Yeah, North Central's coming out really hot right now, and they're doing a really good job. Let's see if they can keep this momentum. Let's see if the DDD can keep it up. Well, especially what we saw in the last game, the DDD has been playing very well as of lately. Let's see if he can take the energy he had in the last game, and if he can bring it into this game and just take out these next few stocks, even while being a stock down person will be playing. Hmm. interested to see what map they try to do. As we saw before, the DDD has a little trouble with the maps that have uh, platforms too close to the ledge because he does like to sit at the ledge and bring people off. It would be nice if DDD could get a stage with one to two platforms that has a pretty decent uh, platform in the middle. That the they send out the Mewtwo. Mewtwo coming in. See how well DDD does. Let's see how the DDD will adapt, considering he lost pretty badly last time, but we'll see how well DDD adapts to his play style. DDD having to take away one stock before the game begins, make it last a little longer. Going for the mental game there. Starting off strong, getting that higher percentage at the beginning. Does not want to lose to this Mewtwo again. Mewtwo with the Nairs. It's a weird hitbox. He just does not know how to get it. Mewtwo just edge guarding. But the DDD likes to hang on the edge of the just to see what he does there. Oh, and a dash to keep him from eating the Mewtwo. Mewtwo's playing pretty smart right now. The 
Mewtwo really likes the ledge as well. Unfortunate for the EDD. Gonna end up being a that was a nice kind of game. That was a nice suck right there. A good Gordo, absolutely. Beautiful, and a beautiful down. Oh my goodness, a down special that just called out where that Mewtwo was going to be, given the EDD the first stop. But Mewtwo getting let's see you next hit in to take another one. This would be huge for North Central. The DD can just take one more stock and keep that lead. It would be absolutely wonderful for them. The hard thing about dealing with heavy students is they deal with so much damage. So while they are very easy to combo and do hate damage in a sense, they're also fantastic at getting in the ball. One straight hit can kill you much sooner than you would have anticipated it could. Mewtwo is ready for a reflector from the ADD there. It was a good uh, play. Equal up smash. Send it back. Mewtwo knows they're at kill percent, but they don't want to lose another stock to the DDD. Oh, F smash. The Mewtwo absolutely just wants to keep the DDD on the edge. That's how he got all the damage last time. Oh, but a Gordo forcing him off the edge. One more, one stray hit could kill Mewtwo at any point now. Mewtwo now looking like they would want to keep their distance, but DDD just looking for that final kill confirm. And again, the same way went last time. Mewtwo's not willing to go. Beautiful! And a down tilt to take him out. Absolutely beautiful. Let's see if the DDD DD want to play more. really safe. He can just take that last stock. That'd be beautiful. The Mewtwo wanted to stick to the middle because he's afraid of what the DDD might be able to pull. Oh, an unfortunate placement there. Landed on the platform instead of going through. Beautiful Gordo. DDD playing much safer than he was before, as is the Mewtwo. He's just afraid that some kind of fluke might get the last stop. Oh, but that might be game. As we see, heavy is on heavy. Even a, a percentage like this, you can see that. Ah, uh, but heavies can come back quite easily from. Yeah, Unfortunately, while that wasn't the case, the, the DDD did a fantastic job playing better than they did before, taking two stocks off the Mewtwo, and putting NCU in very good position to finish this game. Once again, two stocks ahead from North Central University, leaving the Truman with three stocks left, while North Central has... How many stocks? I think six. Six stocks? The Truman sitting there with one character and one stock left on their... Four to six. On their Mewtwo sitting there with a nice even four. And North Central sitting there with two whole characters. North Central's really looking to take that last stock without losing something. Be able to go up against their final person, possibly the anchor, without losing... Uh, going in with two people. Beautiful game between the Mewtwo and EDD there, though, wouldn't you say? Yeah, for sure. EDD did a fantastic job. Last time they got manhandled by Mewtwo, so this time it was not only show the improvement, but just the better understanding of the matchup and how to combat the, the Mewtwo. So, fantastic job by the D. Absolutely. Especially with how the DDD almost managed to be able to take that entire uh, combat despite being a stock down. If nothing else, he definitely evened it, making it so that nothing's changed. Essentially. Who do you think they're sending in now? I would say it's likely that North Central will be sending in... Uh, I want to say Samus, and then they save Mega I think Man for Samus would be a good pick, because then again, they might be saving the Samus for the Palatina. Or the Incineroar, because the Samus for Incineroar might be a pretty good matchup. Yeah. But interesting. I think either member could do well here, and I wouldn't be surprised if they send in the Mega Man to quickly finish off the Mewtwo. 
Especially because I think that Mega Man could do very well against it too. Especially since the DDD and them play so differently. Yeah. He drastically change of pace. He might just be able to take that stock and go right to their last character. And as of right now, North Central has the two stock lead and pretty big advantage over Truman. Yeah. So, while they do have to make an option, they, can, they, they have a lot of freedom here choose what they want to do. Yeah. Because they have a lot of flexibility in what can happen. Because at this point, North Central doesn't need to worry about the later matchup. Right now, they're probably just worrying about who can kill the Mewtwo the fastest to secure the most amount of stocks against the last person. Because even if if North Central can go into that final matchup with six stocks, sitting there just a three to six stock ratio would be huge for North Central. For sure. I know I would probably send in the Mega Man here to try and secure it, but what would you do? I don't know. It's it's kind of a tough decision, but like I said, North Central has a lot of flexibility with what can go on, and even if something doesn't go according to plan, they will still likely be up in the matchup as long as the person who gets sent in doesn't get reverse three-stocked or destroyed. As long as they can maintain that lead, I think North Central will have the advantage here. Very true. Be interested to see what map North Central is going to try and get out of this. I'm not familiar with uh, what maps Mewtwo might like, but I think because of the projectiles, they might prefer. They send in the Mega Man. A more flat map. Mega Man is coming in, yeah. I think North Central sees the matchup and is looking to just take that last uh, bit of stocks without having to worry about it. Three, two, one, go! Match is about to begin. It should be interesting to see. At least you get a first few hits. Mewtwo's just looking for one stock here. If not more. Mega Man's having a hard time uh, starting to use you. You can come there. Mega Man's doing a fantastic job of just putting pressure on the YouTube. After that first inter encounter, the Mega Man has decided they just they they, they just want to stay in this game. They they don't want to lose his stock. Beautiful play on their part. All YouTube has to do here is get one stock and they'll be in a much better position than they would be. Mega Man is now ahead in damage. Just a little bit. Wants to take the Mewtwo off stage and he might just be able to keep him from being a single stock. And that's the game. Mega Man secures the kill with a beautiful back air. The North Central is up 6 to 3. North Central is looking fantastic going into the final the final uh last character for Truman. So it would be very interesting to see how that goes. As of right now, it seems North Central is very favored in this matchup. But let's see if Truman can make the comeback. Do you think here that uh Truman will be sending in the Incineroar or the Palatine? We think that Palatina is better. I'm unsure. I, I feel I, like they are gonna try and send in their best character because not only do they have to get past the Mega Man, but they also have to get past the Samus. Yeah. So while it is a battle of matchups, it's more of a, the fact of who can, who has the best chance of not only taking down the Mega Man, but also taking down the Samus that will come in next with the three stocks that they have. Yeah. I would think it's likely that Palatina comes out. Just Palatina ends up having a pretty good uh, reflector, along with being able to zone. And it would come down to a battle of zoning between the Palatina and the Samus and the Mega Man. I think that with someone like sending in the Incineroar, if they end up going up against someone like the Samus and they just keep their distance, it'll be pretty rough. But 
Uh, I think Palatina could prove to be a pretty annoying matchup for North Central. But even with that, I think their six stock lead gives them a good chance to clear out this set with the first win. North Central is looking pretty good right now. Let's see if they can finish this. Definitely doing better in their last match against Truman. North Central prepared this time, and they were not willing to lose. Saying that was the start of the season, this is the end, this is not the same. Ready? Mega Man against the Palatina. Palatina. Match we've all been waiting for. Typically, is the Palatina the, the anchor? Typically. The Palatina or the Incident World. It's possible that they might be the one, same person as well. Go! But I'm sure they're. Palatina being fairly aggressive, but Mega Man just saying, get off me. A beautiful placement by the Mega Man. Palatina doesn't want to just go down like that. Staying back. Palatina is being tra trying to be very aggressive. It'll be interesting to see which character is better at being aggressive. The interesting thing is both characters are doing. They both know their character very well. Both players are very talented. And let's see how this matchup kind of plays out. Yeah. I think it's interesting. Neither one of them are really sticking too close to the ledge whenever someone's not on the ledge because both of them have a good enough recovery that they could easily uh, survive falling on the ledge, especially the Palatina teleport making it almost impossible to ledge guard with and she is the Mega Man Blood the Mega Man. That's Mega Man's up one right now. Mega Man's looking at this game and saying, I don't need to beat you, I just need to make you weaker. Even if he, he is looking for that win though. With Mega Man being at that high of a percentage at that point, you see how many hits can I get off before I finally die. Which Mega Man is doing a fantastic job of just continuously racking up the damage and really hurting the Palatine. Yeah, starting off that stock with a really quick 60%. Palatina, after losing all those close encounters, looking like she wants to stay zoning a little bit. She's coming in, just chaining theirs left and right. Mega Man's coming in and saying, once it's my turn to do some hits. Oh, and up till the Mega Man barely placing outside of the Palatina's up smash. Mega Man's very good at pulling out forward airs and back airs, making no place around him safe. Valentina's just having fun. Oh, what a beautiful spike. Oh, but the, the bomb! Palatina going in for the spike. Beautiful the setup by beautiful both players. Spike, but she was not prepared to come back as the, the bomb from Mega Man forced her. She fails in tech. She loses another stock. But she's starting out this stock six. Oh, 80% on the Mega Man. 100, wow, it's zero. Oh, no. Palatina's oh, left the last stock. Palatina. Painting some beautiful moves there. However, North Central looks very good going into the final round. With a three versus one stock. With a two stock lead, it looks very favorable for North Central. As long as they keep cool and collected, I see no problem with them winning the first game of the series. Yeah. It's the Samus against the Palatina. The, the matchup does appear to be in the Palatina's favor just because of the reflector. But I think that it is possible that the Samus comes out and takes it, especially with the stock lead. I think that we're looking at a uh, easy win for the first set. Yeah. Well, I don't know about easy, but we'll see how well... Samus plays. 
As, yeah. as we saw, the Palatina, once on a roll, can really do a lot of damage very quickly. But the problem is, is they have very little error or wiggle room to work with. Yeah. So as long as the Palatina can stay cool and collected and just focus on what they do best, at the same time, it's, it's either team's game. North Central is very favored because they have more stocks, they can make more mistakes, but as of right now, it's anyone's game. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out, and let's see if the nerves get to someone. Yeah. At this point, the Samus really doesn't need a match or skill, he just needs to make sure not to get three stocked. And looking at how well the Samus has been playing this season, I think it's... I think it is very possible that the Samus ends up taking this last stock and something like that. But we'll definitely have to see how it goes, because if Palatina gets a chain like she got in that last stock, it might be really rough for the Samus to come back. Very. <laughs> I think that this map, it's likely that we won't be getting a three platform from map. Not. I, think, I don't think the, the Samus likes many platforms. I, I, I think that both matchups would do better on a uh, matchup for just a flat map. I, I, I think that in this case, that they might go with a two or a one platform map. In a town, town city. Town One, city. Go! You were right, there is one platform. Oh, and the Palatine getting the first few hits, but Sam's falling up with a forward air. I not want to lose this game. And now, worst time. Thamus says, I don't need to win, I just need to not get three stacks. But he's looking to take this without losing any stocks. He doesn't care about the reflector Palatina has, he's looking to take this kill. Like we said before, it is anyone's game. While North Central is highly favored in this last bout, if Palatina seems cool and collected, she could come back. But as the looks of it, that's not gonna happen. Sam is saying he don't even get the pleasure. And North of Central takes the first stars. game. Beautiful. That's one set to North Central. Did North Central win any sets last game? Last uh, time no, they played. They did not. Well, this is a huge step in the right direction. Can they win game two and do the exact same thing? Let's find out. Now that they've opened with their Rob, I'm curious to see if they'll do that again. They'll try to draw out the uh, Truman's anchor, or <laughs> if they're going to bring in the Mega Man to open like they normally do. Also be interesting to see if NCU decides to bring out any of those mystery characters like they did last time with the England. Yeah, that would be very interesting to see. I think it would also throw them off significantly, considering the Inkling plays very well. So it'd be interesting to see the different matchups and the different styles that would come into play. As with the mix-up of sending in Rob first, maybe it would just be enough to throw them off their game. It's true. Interested to see if... I know that the, after the last game last week, uh, Jamo, the DDD, is threatening to bring his hero into this game. A thought that made everyone on their team cringe. But it'll be interesting to see if they decide to do something uh, in the case to do some emotional damage, or if they're so confident they might just try and do that. It'll be interesting to see how this goes down. The big question in would be if they do sub out one of their characters, would it be better for them? to bring in the, the, the sub, or would it be better to play the character, their, their, their primary, or the character that they're best at? Yeah. I do think... Uh, I, I, I think that this opening match will either once again be with the Rob starting off with the anchor, hoping to get a stock lead that ended up doing them very well in the past, very or much so. 
going in with the uh, Mega Man just to swap things up a bit. Because the Mega Man did fairly good against the Palatina. And if he can bring the Palatina down to one stock like he did last time, and then just clean up like Samus did to move on from their anchor, it'd be a powerful thing. It'd also be interesting to see if Truman decides to open with their anchor this game. Yep. Try and match the contention that was there. It'd be interesting. The only the only thing they would North Central will have to be aware of is the possibility of Truman anticipating them sending in Rob first again. Because if they do send in Rob first and they're anticipating it by sending in their anchor. Um how did that matchup go last time? Did the Rob lose against the Palatina? The Rob did lose against the Palatina. And I know that the Rob ended up having a lot of trouble specifically because the Rob did not know the matchup. But Rob has been spending a lot of time fighting Pelotinus. He's been practicing for this match since they lost the Truman thing in the more in the beginning. And he's saying that he, he's been telling me that he's not looking to lose to this Pelotinus. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it goes. Let's see if they do send in the Rob first again. How the, the Rob played fantastically the first game, taking the most stocks out of anyone. But let, let's see if the Rob. Oh, and. That's how it'll be. And it's a clash of anchors. A Seems like there was a technical difficulty, but I think because they confirmed their characters, there is no switching now. Either that, or it might be a misclick on Truman's side after ending with the Palatina, forgetting to change their character. So... It would be interesting to see a clash of anchors is taking out the kind of the two strongest people at the beginning. Yeah, so it should be interesting to see how that matchup goes. But North Central is very pumped up. They're very excited. I can hear them in the other room right now. They're pretty happy that they won the, the first matchup against Truman. It's not something that they've done before. So let's see let's see if they can carry this momentum in the game too and just Take it home from here. Yep. Three, two, Is one, indeed the clash go! of the anchors. Rob getting the first hit. Oh, following up with a beautiful chain. He says, I fought you last time. I'm not looking to lose again. Beautiful uh, placement by the Pelican trying to get damage back up. But she was not prepared for that laser. Rob normally likes to keep people off stage, but it'll be interesting to see if he changes his strategy up specifically because Pelican is so hard to ledge guard that teleport ability. Well, that's looking rough for Rob, but Rob is still left with the percentage. Let's see. Let's see how it plays out. Rob just saving those lasers for any time there's any sort of end lag on the Palatina side. It's an absolutely beautiful place. Oh, we're following up with a down smash after a spot dodge. Beautiful! And a gyro kill. Beautiful gyro. An absolutely beautiful and insulting way to take the Palatina out. See, the interesting thing about this matchup is both of these characters have insane kill power, so it'll be cool to see how quickly the stocks can be taken and just how the flow of this match will go. Yeah. The Rob definitely looking to do some mental damage with that gyro kill. It's still on my mind. Palatine is just afraid to get close, trying to do some more shit zoning this game. Nice but... PI to stay in bounds. Is he can Rob get any more damage? Hopefully taking another stock here. Rob's looking to get every kill he possibly can. The, the Rob's saying, you're not the only one with a good recovery. I'm not going to let you take me out. Something like that. Oh, very close. Right there. That was almost a kill. Beautiful Let's back see. air. Try to go for another gyro kill. Oh, fortunately, Rob got taken out here. But Rob is leading the match right now. Palatina just barely getting out of the dodge right there. Follow up with a dash attack. It was a beautiful kill on my part. Changing but as we players. saw before, the Palatina does come back very quickly, and if not careful, she can rampage an entire stock back. Rob. And that's oh. another stock for Rob. 
Rob is up a stock and is looking pretty good on percentage as well. The Rob anticipating the Palatini getting out of there really fast. Just wanting to follow up with the up air to secure that last stop. He says, I don't care if I end up losing two lives here. I can do a lot of damage and secure that lead that we got last time. Palatine playing a lot carefully than she used to. He's not willing to die during this. He says, I'm the anchor. I'm going to at least take out one person in this game. So one of the biggest problems the Rob is going to have is just finishing this off. It can be hard to, with all of the stress of the moves, to play consistently at the end of the game. But the Rob's looking pretty good right now. Let's see if he can deal the deal. If he can end this with two stocks like he did the first game, that would be phenomenal. And as, as we saw the last game, would almost solidify the win for North Central right then and there. Palatina is just chaining the side piece. Oh, oh beautiful, beautiful back. tech on the Palatina's part. She was not willing to die there. Oh. Followed up by a grab into a kill. She beautiful kill play by the Palatina. Palatina so Rob really has to be careful here. To get that last little bit. Oh. A dangerous play by the Rob, but it ends up paying off getting into the other side of the stage. Palatina chaining some beautiful hits. Rob is just not comfortable getting close. Starting to get the momentum she got against the Mega Man in that last match. Rob knows what she can do with it. Oh, that's unfortunate. that he can follow up with something. And as, as we saw before, the Palatina is coming back. Can the Rob finish it? Coming into this stock, we thought it was going to be obvious who would get it, but the Rob has been pressured so much, it is terrifying to see what the Palatina can do under pressure. Rob just has to land one more good hit. That'll be all. Oh. But that is unfortunate. Palatina getting that hit first, the dash that is right off the stage. That's unfortunate for the Rob. I know he's going to be unhappy with that one. Rob did a good job, but he couldn't seal the deal. As we said, it does get the nerves really do get to the players, and it can be hard to play consistently. While the Rob did a fantastic job, he just could not finish it. Let's see how well the rest of the team will play and fare up to this. For the best chance of North Central succeeding and moving forward, they want to take care of this Palatina as quickly and as effectively as possible, hopefully in the circumstances taking the stock of the Palatina but not losing one of her own. Mm -hmm. Palatina is doing some crazy things with the momentum she's been getting. As soon as she gets in the zone, she destroys. Bringing back a stock that was really high percentage. It's interesting to see if that's because she needs a little bit of time to adapt to the matchup, or if it's just the, that moment of just pressure when she's on her last stock that brings her in. Hopefully, this does not affect the North Central morale. While while the battle of the anchors did go down in the first round, that hopefully, even though it was unfortunate to see while North Central did have a lead earlier within that match and then lost it, unfortunately, that hopefully they can just keep cool and collected, maintain the momentum that they had from the previous game, and, well, the score is more tied up than it was before, so we'll see how well that ties into the rest of the game. Yeah, especially with this one. Truman coming in with a one-stock lead. Be interesting to see if North Central decides to send in the Mega Man or the Samus again after they're both able to secure a stock from the Palatina without uh, taking any stocks from themselves, like being able to take the first stock. But Mega Man might still be feeling the way that that last match ended. Might want to stay in as the anchor. I think it's likely that we'll be getting a Samus here. Ready? Yeah, for sure. There we go.
The Samus did a pretty good job against the penalty in the last time. Let's see if he can do it again. Samus ended up taking a stock without losing one last time. If he can do it again, Three, even up the match, two, that'll be one, more essential. Go! And I feel like the objective of Palantir here is obviously to take as many stocks as possible, but if they can at least get one stock, then it would be looking good for the rest of their team. Because as of right now, they are up one stock in the lead, so... Is the case. Palantir get the first hit off. The team is falling up with a beautiful fair. Zair from the same is not something you see from often. They end up doing pretty good damage. Do the back air. Grab from the Palatina. I think it's likely the Palatina's gonna want the Samus off the stage here. Potentially hit a spike. Palatina has hit one. He has not Samus placing some of those. Zoning uh, with the uh, Palatina trying to get it to it, not hit. Palatina just not relenting. He's saying, I've played you before, I'm not going to be embarrassed this time. Uh, 59% on the Palatina, 108 on the Samus. It'll be interesting to see if the Samus can come in and close this gap. Oh, and a really unfortunate hit by Palatina, taking the Samus out. Samus is not happy with this step, I can tell you. Well, it's looking good for the Palatina. And Assassin's keep collecting, stay in the game, and just take the stock. Samus is looking to keep the... Don't, like, not give Truman any more lead than they already have. Thing that I don't want you to have a two stop lead on us when you already have one. I'm sure that North Central is confident they can take that lead back if they really need just through matchups. But Samus does not want to end up losing the two stocks to this. Beautiful charge move by the Samus. Oh, and beautiful! A morph bomb into an up throw that secures the game. What a beautiful play by Samus. Samus. That was a good game. The, the Samus is playing a lot better recently. Playing just phenomenally good matchups and just general game sense. So even though Walnor Central is down right now, they did both anchors are out, and this is anyone's game. Yeah. So you'll just see who has the better matchups, who plays better, and honestly, it'll just come down to the better team. So I'm excited to see how this game two. Let's see how game two pairs out. Yeah, absolutely. Now the in, the Truman still has the option, assuming that Incineroar is not the Palatina, to send out a Incineroar, a Ken, a Samus, or a. What was the last number? What did you already say? Uh, there was an Incineroar, a Samus, a Ken. You two. Two. Yeah. I think that it's likely that uh, Truman will send out a Mewtwo due to the Reflector and how many Mewtwo's just have been able to handle those owners. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if Truman sends in a Samus trying to do a Ditto matchup, thinking that their Samus can take ours. I think that would be an interesting interesting sight to see two Samuses fighting each other, but I feel like they ultimately might want to, instead of playing on a quote-unquote ditto even playing field to see who's the better Samus against one another, they may try and just get the better matchup that they would have. Yeah, my thought is that they might just want to save the B2 matchup, but it's interesting to see how that'll go. Honestly, at this point, Truman has a lot of choice. That one stock lead may not seem like a lot, but it really does give them a lot of choice in who they want to send in. That is, that is true. That one stock does help them, and they have insight on who they just sent, the who North Central just sent in. So, yeah. as of right now, Truman has a pretty good advantage, but 
like I said before, it's anyone's game, and it'll be interesting to see how this this plays out. Yeah. It'll also be interesting to see the Ken come in, because I know the Ken and the Samus ended up fighting last time, but they ended up not... Uh, Samus ended up losing that matchup in a stage that really should have been better for Samus. So, so it'll, it'll be it'll interesting, be interesting to see. Yeah. Absolutely. I know North Central's prepared really hard against Truman, and... They put a lot of effort into analyzing Truman's characters and just playing better overall. North Central's come a very long way, having mostly a freshman varsity team coming from the beginning of the year, but they've grown so much and it's awesome to see how much better they're playing and how well they're adapting to the characters of the game and their matchups. Absolutely. Looks like Mewtwo's coming in here. Sending out someone with a reflector, being able to send those charge beams back at Samus. But Three, two, the Samus tends to be one, a very go. up close and personal Samus, so it's possible that that might just cause them to catch the Mewtwo off guard and make them unsure whether they're going to go with zoning or up close. Reflection right there from the Mewtwo. Nothing else, just reminding Samus that that is an option for him. Samus getting the first hit off. Get to teleport the ledge there, but Samus just falling up with the bear. Samus is just not losing any hits right now. Samus is playing quite well right now. Very carefully, even taking a hit, making sure to get that damage right back. Samus really does not want to lose this match. Samus is looking to take back that lead that they believe they should have gotten. Oh, but the Beautiful back air guard. from the Mewtwo. The Mewtwo is very good as we see at edge guarding, so it'll be very interesting to see how the characters of North Central and the players will better adapt to the Mewtwo's playstyle. Yeah. The Mewtwo also with their insane recovery, being able to teleport a great distance, make it hard to ledge guard as well as make it hard to take out specifically just from hitting them off ledge. Oh, oh but beautiful. The, the destruction of the shield. That, oh. oh, but the final hit does not hit. That the Samus is not gonna be happy about that. It is a really unfortunate setup. Samus does not like this matchup, I don't think. Mewtwo just needs a little bit of time, but it's really set up that percentage against the Samus. Beautiful charge beat from Samus. Able to hit him. Good. Will Samus be able to secure this kill? before Mewtwo can. At this point, it's anyone's kill, and Samus is just looking for that single shot not to make it so that there can be stocks ahead. And that's it. Samus and that was a good attack kill. by Samus. It's possible Samus can get another kill. If Samus get another kill, they would look very well for it or something. And they would be where they were before, but that is the, that's the game. But the Mewtwo taking Samus's combo and landing a bunch of straight hit that sends him flying. That's really unfortunate. Oh man, and that puts uh, Truman at a two stock, stock lead. lead. Yeah, a two stock lead. So Truman slowly gaining ground here. Let's see if Nor North Central can take it back. They have the DDD and they have the Mega Man. Who do you think they're sending him next? Uh, I think that. For this matchup, I I believe that the Mega Man would be the better choice here. Well, he would, I would he would be the better choice. I would agree, but I feel like the Mega Man is better overall as a player and has better matchups than DDD. And DDD did play the Mewtwo pretty well last time. That is true, but it'll be interesting to see. Because I think at this it'll point, it'll be def definitely interesting to see how it plays out. North Central is definitely looking to see just not who can secure the win the fastest, but just who can like lose the least amount of stocks or play in a way that just makes them unpredictable enough that someone can't adapt. So there is also the possibility that 
we see the Inkling come out or we see secondaries come out during this matchup. That is true. To see if we can throw them off anymore. Maybe we'll get blessed with the the, the hero uh, glorious hero main from the DDD. Yeah, Send that would that would be a funny up. sight to see. Would it be effective? I don't know. But we might just get to see a thwack into thwack into thwack into thwack and end the game. Or maybe even a kamikaze. We don't know. That that would be really unfortunate. <laughs> there is only one Ventrum. way to find out. But I think it's likely that we're going to be trying to get a map with more platforms to counter the uh, Mewtwo's. <sighs> Counter the Mewtwo's projectiles. Yeah. It's definitely going to be interesting to see. Because Mewtwo's definitely going to make ledges really hard for North Central. Or Central definitely taking their time trying to decide what would be the best play here. As they are two stocks down. Two isn't a very big number in this case. Two stocks is a massive lead. How do you think the, the stage matchup will change? I, I, I believe that we'll get a lot more platforms to counter projectiles. I, I, I think that it's very likely that just a smaller stage that requires you to be a lot more aggressive is possible. And I think that if they do that, someone like the Mega Man in like Smashville might be able to take a few stocks because Mega Man has great surrounding. He's very good at doing back airs and forward airs and out of shields. Oh, but the DDD is coming out. Having won that last match, it looks like the DDD wants another go. See how well the DDD can do. DDD has been playing pretty well today, but after that first matchup, let's see if the Mewtwo has adapted at all. A small battlefield. <sighs> As we saw the last game, the, the stocks were reversed where the, the EDD had two, but U2 had three. So it's, it'll be interesting to see with the with the reverse of stocks how it, how it'll play out this time. It would be a huge play for North Central to be able to take back that lead just by the EDD. We'll be able to close it just a little more. But the Mewtwo remembers this matchup and just does not want to lose it. The DDD definitely trading hits. Beautiful! Falling up with a beautiful recovery that sticks the Mewtwo into the ground and secures the kill. Because DDD is a heavy, he can withstand a lot yep. more of the heavy hitting attacks. But there's that heavy weight coming in. Just unable to secure what, what should have been a kill just because of that massive weight. That fat body is not just a show. Oh, but the Mewtwo's able to come and finally secure the kill. Kill 28% oh, good. Beautiful counter by the Mewtwo there. Oh my, oh. And that scares me for a sec. I thought he was just gonna, he was gonna go for all the marbles right there. It, it definitely would have been funny. Putting my heart at risk there. Scaring me with a... Tempted for a threat of suicide. And that's another stock down, but DDD is still in the lead. Let's see if he can finish this game. At the very least, the DDD wants to come in and say that he was able to not increase. Oh, the that, that was a that bad after bad. sure what they're gonna do there. Clipping through the stage with an up air. Looking like the the Mewtwo is starting to get used to Gordo. Sending every single thing back. Turning one of DDD's greatest things against him. As we see the, the issue with Gordo is it's so easily defensible as all you have to do is hit it with anything. But, oh, uh, and that's 
Oh, oh, and the heavy as, weight as coming back the weight in. of DDD coming in. But the bad and, placement. And that's it. Bad placement of the mouth cost in the game with the accident of the universal there. And this is not looking great for North Central as they're on their final player now as Truman is on their second, am I correct? Uh, North Central, yes, on their... F their, their last character, their... the Mega Man, likely to come out. Truman gaining more of a lead than they already had, still having a Ken and a Samus, and possibly an Incineroar in this next match. So we'll see how this goes. Like, like I said before, it is completely possible for North Central to come back. While it's going to be incredibly difficult, it is possible if the Mega Man stays collected and focused, while the other team, if, if Truman becomes overhyped, Truman can play inconsistent and they can fall off very easily. Knowing how the Mega Man plays, he plays pretty consistently and can very easily take stocks very quickly. And once, you know, the, the punches start going, the Mega Man can really get rolling with percentages and even stocks. So it'll be interesting with a, what, a seven? Yeah, how many, how many stocks does the, the Mega Man have to take? Seven? Would seven stocks. That would be a crazy amount of stocks. If Mega Man really gets into the zone, it is possible. Very unlikely. The problem with it too is Truman gets a, has two characters remaining, which will be, while known, are also unknown, which will the order they're coming out or who they're sending out. So Truman really has the the element of surprise as well of who they're going to send out and the advantage of matchups. Absolutely. I know that. Mega Man was very confident that he could take on this Mewtwo. So it's possible that he's able to secure this last stock without losing one. And he was very confident that he could take out the Samus as well, maybe losing only one stock. If he can go into that losing one stock and take on the Ken with whatever's left over, or to take on the Ken and survive just a little bit. I think that it is possible with matchups for Mega Man to take this. Yeah. But it will be a uphill battle. Hmm. You think the stage will change at all? Uh. I think so. I, I, I don't think that the Mega Man is going, is going to want to um, go into a stage that is a uh, platform like small battlefield. I think that he's going to want a more open stage, but it is possible that he goes with a little bit of a mix up because Mega Man tends to be pretty confident. I see no issue with Mega Man completing this game, knowing that Mewtwo is at one stock, and knowing the capabilities of Mega Man. However, let's let's see how the next matches play out as well. But we do have to get through this one first, so we yeah. can't count anyone out yet. The Mega Man crouching on the Mewtwo. Oh, and a beautiful first hit scenario. Oh, but the Mewtwo able to reflect his smash attack back at him. That might end up being a problem. Haven't seen how the la how he used that against the Palatina as a ledge guard option. Beautiful. But that does not stop him from using it. Okay, one, one, as, as we see, once the Mega Man gets momentum in this game, it's very difficult to see. It's very difficult to come back as... Mega Man hasn't even received damage yet, and he's probably going to take the stock. Oh my and that's lord! Not. Mega Man coming and being able to take a, a stock zero without to taking death. a single hit. Who that let him absolutely Who beautiful. Let him <laughs> oh, if nothing else, that's going to do a lot of mental damage to Truman. Mega Man coming in saying, that I don't care what kind of stock lead you have, send me with all you have. Wow! So as we see, Truman still has the stock advantage and the, the the player advantage where they can send in basically whoever they want, but 
after a performance like that, that must have some mental toll on Truman. Let's let's see if it affects their gameplay or who they send in. I am certain that the entirety of the Smash team just clipped that. <laughs> An absolutely beautiful play from Mega Man, just unrelenting, just taking that Mewtwo and totally embarrassing him. Well, it definitely, to, to some, it may seem like the, the, the matchup is in complete favor of Truman, which it is, if the Mega Man stays calm and collected, and if Truman becomes... If, if they start feeling the pressure, the pressure starts weighing on them, and they start to play inconsistent, like the Mewtwo did in the first... in the game that we just saw, there is a very good possibility that North Central comes back and takes this game. Not yeah. only the game, but the, the series, and if North Central wins this, then they just upset the number one seed in the, the conference tournament finals, so... And North Central would bring home their first conference championship ever for Smash. That would be quite the show. Good. We don't want to put all of our eggs in one basket as there is still six stocks. But I do believe in this Mega Man. Once again, it will be an uphill battle. And here comes out the Ken. Just like that, the Ken comes in. The a worse matchup for Mega Man. But after seeing how Mega Man's been playing today, taking on the anchor I'm from ready. Truman and taking two stocks. Go. I think it's very possible that Mega Man just utterly embarrasses this Ken despite the matchup. The only time will tell. Mega Man wanted to keep it in the air. Oh, oh and an S3! Stop! Ken just unable to secure a recovery there. And like I said, the pressure is kind of settling in. The Ken was embarrassed at that. He's not looking for that to happen again. But Mega Man just wants to get him in the air if he can. Ken does not have good options for that. Mega Man has to be careful. He is kind of low on shield, but... As you can see, the Mega Man is playing his game. Mega Man is mixing in up close and personal attacks with some far range attacks to keep the Ken on his toes. As far range is good against the Ken, Mega Man is just not wanting to walk up and lose his place. Mega Man falling with a beautiful back air, taking Ken off stage again. Falling up with another one. The Ken is afraid of the ledge. He's just trying to stay in the middle as best he can. It's interesting seeing a Ken asking a Mega Man to approach, as the Mega Man has much better far range options, but, they, me, but Mega Man is just taking this fight by the head and is saying that I get to decide how this is going. Oh, and a messed up Beautiful. Hurricane gives Mega Man a wonderful placement. Will he be able to secure this kill? Almost. I'm not sure you can That's take Mega Man off. Still 108% on the Ken. Followed up with an offstage placement. It is still very possible. Oh, that is unfortunate. Oh, but the Ken gets a powerful yeah. move up. Taking 46% off the Ken, uh, Mega Man. Like I said, if the Mega Man can stay consistent this game, oh, and that's, oh, another, that's, messed up that's another failed recovery. Me Mega Man's looking just if you can go into this next one with two stocks, that might can be very great. Dude, it's a very good matchup. Like I said, if the Mega Man can stay collected, and then, oh my God, he that, it. Is that is insane. Falling up with a beautiful edge guard. And now it's going to be the last game. And just like that, Mega Man has taken... How many stocks is that? What? Four, four stocks four right now. Let's see if he can finish needed. the game. Only losing one. I think Mega Man is very confident that he can go into the Samus matchup. Because he was very confident that he could take the Samus before. Yeah, for sure. As we see, the Mega Man is staying calm and collected. And Truman, as it appears, is fumbling and crumbling under the pressure of... Possibly the last matchup of the night. Mega Man is looking at the if, lead. That if the Mega Man has. can seal the deal, the, I think Mega Man would have MVP of the whole thing. Absolutely. The Mega Man is looking at this lead. 
that has been scaring everyone and has just been laughing. He says, that's a lead? No, it's not. Went from, what, a four stock lead to now a one stock lead? Every It's, it's basically tied up. While Truman still has the, Truman the advantage here the with hand. one stock and choosing who they want to send in next, the Mega Man is looking on fire right now. Looks very calm and collected. And who do they have left? Just the Samus? Or is the Incineroar an option? It, it is still possible that the Incineroar might come in. But I know that, as North Central has been talking about, they've been theorizing that because the Incineroar and the Palu have had the least amount of matches, it is possible that they are the same character. So, while it is possible for him to come out, I think that North Central is expecting a Samus to come out here, and I think that North Central is very confident that they will be able to take out the Samus with few stocks. And I think it'll be one heck of a finals match to see how this goes down. If North Central wins, then they win the whole the they win the they win the series and they win the championship. If they lose, then we go to game we go to set three. And either or it'll be awesome to see. That it has really been a crazy game as North Central has had the lead in that entire first set. This entire second set, it's just been Truman. Only Truman just taking the game and saying, this is ours. And Mega Man has come up and just looked at the trophy and he said, no. Mega Man is cooking is right now. Let's see Let's see what kind of dinner he prepares for us at the end of this match. Is it going to be a five star or a one star? There's only one way to find out. It is a shame, though. If Mega Man does win this, we it is likely that we will not be seeing the hero in this game. Unfortunately, it would be... But I, I think that's a sacrifice that I would be willing to see. No hero for the, the conference championship, but... Tough decision to make, but definitely the right one. As much as we love the DDD, we do not love his hero. Yeah, that, that, that is true. North Central definitely taking their time trying to decide what stage they want to do. No, that appears to be Truman. And I mean, there there is a lot of, there's a lot at stake. If they lose this match right here, even though Mega Man is at a one stock deficit, then Truman has lost and they do not win the championship. So basically they want everything that can be in their favor to be in their favor. Hopefully they choose the best matchup that they can. And then they choose the best stage that, according to how Mega Man has played, it would just be the the best option. It absolutely would be. I know that North Central is definitely happy with how this has gone, at least in this section. Even if they do end up losing this set, the Mega Man should definitely be proud because he has been playing phenomenally. I think at this point that that puts him above their current anchor, and I'm sure that the captain is very happy with Mega Man right and now. And here we are, the final match is about to commence. Let's see, let's see the details. And it's the Incineroar! It's the Incineroar! Oh, that is an interesting match. This will be very interesting to see, and I'm excited to see how this will play out. We have not seen the Incineroar come out in either game so far, so... I don't think they've played the Incineroar in a while, but I think they've definitely put their time in to prepare. It'll be defi definitely an insane match to watch. Can the Mega Man keep his momentum and keep tearing through the Truman lineup? Yeah. I, I, I know that Ready? Mega Man was talking about it, and he was saying that if the Incineroar did come up, he would he believes that he would be ready for it. So, the Incineroar has played some remarkable games. It'll be interesting to see if that one stock boss will be able to come in regardless of what's been going on. And the Mega Man doing Mega Man goofing around a little bit, but let's see let's see if the Incineroar crumbles under the pressure. And we'll, it'll be this is going to be an insane game to see by the way. Oh, and just like that, the Mega Man almost taken a stop out hot. out of pure energy. Oh, it is beautiful to see. He is just saying that this is my game. 
49% on the Mega Man, but 75 on the Incineroar. The Incineroar doing a lot of damage. Mega Man's gonna have to be careful with this. Oh, and there's Revenge. Especially with Revenge there, healing 40% in a single hit. And one thing we do have to keep aware of is Mega Man is down a stock. It is down a stock. It does not come down to who is slightly better. The Mega Man has... Oh, rough. Incineroar coming in with Revenge once again, healing 30% in a whole single move. Getting it again. Mega Man is having And it is looking rough, time. but as we have seen, it is not impossible to come back. Mega Man just needs to secure the kill. But the Incineroar just not wanting to give in. Oh, just barely missing that ledge guard. Fortunately, the Mega Man got hot in that. 180%. And that's that's one down. Let's see if Mega Man can come back. But at 86%, oh, it's not likely. 100% with two stocks left. It would be a remarkable comeback for the Mega Man. Oh, but the Incineroar just does not want to give him this. Mega Man's starting to play very safe. He knows just one stray move will be the game. Oh, and a revenge from the Incineroar. Any move will kill here. Mega Man is very afraid at the moment. Very, playing very carefully. Luckily, that did not fully connect. Mega Man playing very boldly, almost 200% on him. Any single move could end this game for Mega Man, but he just does not want to give in. Oh, and unfortunately, that is the game. Well, the Mega Man did have one heck of a comeback in terms of taking four stocks. It just was not enough for the Incineroar. The Incineroar it was just not something that I think that the Mega Man was mentally ready for. No. But now now they're familiar with the matchup. They know how he's going to play. And now we, we go to game three. So it'll be interesting to see how it goes. We'll see, I wonder how the, the mental game is going for both Truman and North Central. Let's see if they can control their nerves, stay collected, and maybe North Central will come home with a championship tonight. Yeah. Absolutely. I think that North Central, despite having lost that last set, is still feeling in pretty good spirits. As the Mega Man has shown, he is able to take five stocks by himself outside of the anchor. And I think that because of that, he has shown that he's able to match the anchor uh, of our team, the Rob, despite not being him. So I think that if it comes down to it, the Mega Man could end up being a good point for North Central to come back on. And I think with this set that it is possible that North Central will open up with either the Mega Man or the Rob. It'll be interesting to see who uh, Truman decides to open up with, as they have both the Incineroar and the Palatina, which I know was the biggest worry for North Central as they considered them the two best players. So. That adds it, so will Truman play with the Incineroar again, or will they bring out the Samus? Will definitely be an interesting to see. But starting off with what is currently going on, we're down one set to one set for each. It's anyone's game at this point. Next set wins. Uh, wonder how the team's feeling at this moment. Certainly sitting there strategizing about who they want to send and if they want to stick with their anchor again or if they want to bring in their normal opener. And I'm sure Truman is having a hard time trying to decide if they want to open up with their anchor again or if they want to sit back and send out uh, their regular person like, like they did last time. I do think that this will be a very close game and... I do think that it's going to be a very tough victory to secure. 
but I think that if North Central has shown anything this game, it's just their sheer tenacity. They want to win this game, and I think it's very possible they can. Especially showing off how they took that first set with a large lead on Truman and managed to close the uh, lead that Truman had near the end of that last round. It'll definitely be a set to watch, and I hope you'll all stay with me and watch it. Been here waiting. They're all waiting for that perfect moment. They're just, uh, still trying to decide their strategy, what map they want to do, what characters they want to open with. Because with the Rob having been played first, it's definitely going to be a scary thing to do want to start with the Rob again. And they do. An anchor against anchor battle. Now they're selecting the map. It'll be interesting because the Rob is definitely, he lost that match to the Palatina last time, but I don't think he's looking to do it again. That Palatina, when, gets the, when getting momentum, is a terrifying opponent. And if the Rob can secure this uh, Palatina, I think it'll definitely come down to just the main character's plan, and the Rob might be able to get us a stock lead again. Central, looking like they're taking a moment to just prepare for the match. Ready? Alatina and Rob, here we go. Anchor versus Anchor fight, once again. playing a safer game than he did last time. He really doesn't want to lose this. Oh, taking the first few hits and falling into the down smash. He's seeing everything that's going on here. He's not looking for a repeat of last game, but Palatina's chaining some beautiful combos. Rob has to be having a hard time mentally. But will he be able to get past that and just take this out? on the rub, 100 now. Palatina only at 55. But a suicide on her part, giving Rob the upper hand. A really bad teleport. Quite unfortunate for the Palatina. And as of right now, it's looking pretty good for the Rob. Well, not, not the start the Rob wanted. Here he is in the lead. It is indeed. That uh, death by the Palatina might end up costing awesome her the game. Rob trying to play carefully but also aggressively. It's Beautiful. Same thing. Beautiful. Kind of chains some team. Beautiful. Pairs. And full of the Get out of here! He had the audacity to sit there and charge it. Beautiful. Taking another stock without losing his first. Rob is feeling good this game, and he is not willing to lose this match. If he wants a three stock. If the Rob gets a three stock, can Truman come back? I don't know. The Rob ends up getting a massive lead that was only able to be taken by the Palatina before. If the Rob manages to get a three stock on this Palatina, I think that it is very possible that might just be the game for Truman. Oh, and the same thing Another before. Smash. Oh, but a counter. They're almost at the same amount of damage. Rob just taken how that last game went and saying, it's Is Rob going to finish this year? Oh, but unfortunately, Rob Pilot lost a stock, but beautiful! Oh, look at that. The team look at him go. So happy. <laughs> the Rob, very happy. And how beautiful start to the series. He, that is the matchup he's been waiting for. And after losing that last one, he's feeling really good about two stocking that Palatina. He says, I don't care if you beat me the first match or the second match. I'm ending this game here, and I am going to take the lead in this set and the next. It's awesome to see Rob get that match back that he wanted before. Obviously, Rob was quite upset after 
giving up two stocks after leading the the entire the entire match but this time around rob stayed collected did what he needed to do and got it done so it was very interesting he played a very calm match like and then very aggressive at different points because he just sat there letting her the palatina zone and try and outrange him for a bit before making the pace go up drastically yeah i heard a pep talk when i went out when i stepped outside for a second i heard them talking about how they just needed to just focus on what they do best and stay calm that no matter what would happen in this match that they've improved so much and they're they're grateful for how far they have come and what's going to happen in the future for them yeah north central sitting here with a two stock lead their anchor still in the game and the mega man who has done just as well as the anchor still in the game just as well Truman even scared some would argue even better so Truman is do they the, the question is do they send in the incineroar now do, do they want to try and leave the incineroar for the end where yeah as they saw but Ken did tend to uh, mix up the Rob a little bit, being able to take two stocks from him. He might be able to do that again. But the Incineroar hat is what uh, uh, North Central was afraid of before. And if they go in for that again, it might be an interesting way to see how that goes. But if they lose that Incineroar, they would just be stuck with another repeat yeah. of how the last one went with Mega Man just If. Ready? And they, they do send in the Ken. Send in a... They sent in a Ryu. Not quite Ken, but more or less the same. Just small differences. It'll be interesting to see how this goes. Three, I think two, that uh, one, Truman wants to go. keep their anchor while getting rid of their getting rid of ours. But I think that Rob is looking to restock here, if not just a single stop loss. As he can easily outrange the Ken or the Ryu, and he does not want to lose this game. A beautiful placement on him, not losing any damage yet, but getting the Ken up to 60%. Beautiful. Oh, and off stage. 77% with zero taken from Rob. There's the first bit of damage that Ken has been able to do. Rob falling down with a down smash. Absolutely beautiful. Rob is doing a fantastic job leading right now. And Ken just grabbing him and just doing damage, not bothering to do a throw. Very interesting. Oh, but the Ken sh unshielding too soon. Rob following up. Beautiful. He does not want to let him get back on stage. And that's it. Rob takes the first stock, having only lost 30%. Beautiful. If the Rob can keep up the game like this right now, Rob might win this matchup too. If he keeps the game going the way that it's been going, Rob might be able to take out the 10, taking a full of six stocks, and then move on to the next round. Rob going for an air side B. Interesting choice. The Ken, what's interesting is that this is the first game we have seen this character use their grabs at all. The Ken? And it's something that they've had to yeah. adapt specifically for the Rob, just because he's been shielding more than they've been used to. The problem we see though is that the grabs from the the Ryu aren't aren't very effective. They are not. And it seems like it, that option is only being thrown out there because he's shielding so much and to get more damage on. Yeah. And that's another stock in the game's tied. Uh, the Ryu managing to take the stock with the shield get from a Rob, but the Rob coming in immediately and saying, I want that stock back. It's a 0-0 zero -zero game with the, Ken, the Ryu certainly in the lead at the moment. But Rob has already taken it back, and he's not willing to lose his lead. He says, this is my game, and this is my championship, and we are going to win. And as we see, it's just the Rob is going nuts. But Rob has to... Oh, and he follows up with a laser! 
horsing him That's right game off two. The, the Rob edge. is cooking right now, taking Beautiful six set. stocks. Looks like the team's staying calm and composed. Not even phased by the fact that they got a beautiful hit off the ledge. Let's see how many more stocks Rob can take. Rob is doing a phenomenal job right now, taking out one of their anchors, the Palatina, and three stocking. While, while the Rob did lose a stock, while three stocking the Ryu. So it'll be very interesting to see who Truman sends out next to try and stop the rampage of Rob. Yeah, absolutely. And we have the to Rob remember, too, switched. we still have the... The, the whole rest of the team that needs to play. We still have the Absolutely. Mega Man who went on a tier last game, the okay. Samus and the DDD who are mix up options. So it'll be very interesting to see how it will play out. Absolutely. I think sending in the Rob there, it has come down to just whoever gets the lead is just whichever anchor goes in first. And I think that extra stock that the Rob got from the suicide of the Palatina just ended up being absolutely perfect. He has traded one stock for three each time. And let's see if he's going to trade that last one for two. Yeah, it almost seemed like one. during that, that Palu matchup where when the Palu SD'd on accident, it seemed as if like the motivation went down and it just it hurt the morale of the Palatina and ultimately Truman, where the, the Palatina started playing worse. Because as we saw, the Palatina was kind of beating up Rob. And then Palatina died and... The, the the game immediately shifted in Rob's favor. Absolutely. Another question is, who do we think Truman is sending in next? I'm not sure if they're going to send in their Samus because their Samus didn't do great against the Rob. And even then, how well will the Samus do against the other matchups? I think that... I, I think that it's very likely that their best choice, other than maybe the Incineroar, would be uh, the Mewtwo. I don't think Samus is an option. I do not. I feel like the Mewtwo and the Incineroar are two high-caliber threats that are to be dealt with the Rob, right? Yeah. The, Mew the the Samus is just not doing enough for the team as of right now, so it it seems like their, their other two powerhouses, the Mewtwo and the Incineroar, are the only options that are left. Absolutely. The that problem is if they send in the Incineroar first, who is debatably the better player, then... If they lose that Incineroar, then the match, the, the game's basically over with the way that's been, how everything's been played. So I think the, the their best chance right now is sitting in the Mewtwo, which is what happens. Exactly. And keep in mind, this is their third character with North, Cent North Central still on their first. And that Mega Man, I know, is itching to play. He wants to get more stocks. He wants to He try wants the revenge on the Incineroar. Go! One stock versus three. Will the will the Rob be able to take a stock? I think it is very likely he gets at least one, if not more. Oh, but Mewtwo gets the first hit off. Doing a very interesting setup. The Rob immediately capitalizing on Mewtwo's end lag and taking some more hits. He says, I'm the captain of this team and I'm going to show you why. Very intense game right here. YouTube currently in this thing. But up smash fold into an up air. Oh, and that's another one. Another up air. The Rob is just looking for kills. If the Rob could take a stock, that would be phenomenal. And would set North Central for even a bigger lead. Here we go. If the Rob, is he going to be able to take seven? And it looks like he will. And and oh, uh, and that, that was such a close. In right yeah, there. great Showing job by the two. But it also looks like that's going to be it. And but it that's a stock. Matter. He does it again. And that's seven. Rob stock is for hooking. Rob. He says, like, this is my game. You are playing my game right now, and I'm going to show you that it's not okay to like. Let's see how. Me. Let's see how much more the Rob can do. Oh, air dodging that oh. right there. Oh, oh and the spike! Blocking. And he the spike! It. He blocks it! That is and he gets the amazing like ledge guard. He's going, and the, the Rob's going insane! Says, Rob's going insane! Teleporting. It is my stage. 
Rob now taking eight stocks. Will he three stock here, or will the Mewtwo get that last hidden? It is very possible, as Rob is sitting there at 150%. If we look at the Mewtwo, it can be very stressful in this position, knowing that you you have to, for the benefit of your team, to just like to kill this Rob. But it can also be very stressful for knowing how to play properly and consistently. Now, the Mewtwo did get it done, but the Rob took eight stocks in the whole game, which sets North Central up for a fantastic lead, not only to beat the Mewtwo, but to finish off the probable Incineroar that is coming in. If not the Samus, there is still a possibility that Samus comes in, keep in mind. But I think at this point that the Incineroar would be the better play. But this Rob, captain of the team, just took eight of the 12 stocks. It is way to lead by an example. Exactly. If North Central pulls through, I think that Rob gets the MVP of the game. Completely sweeping out more than half of the stocks Not from to Truman. mention the five stocks he got in the first set and then the two he got in the second. That gives him a total of 15 stocks in this entire game. I think that is more than anyone has had uh, on the varsity so far. Yeah, and it kudos to the Rob. He's playing fantastically right now. If there was one way to go out, this is the this is the way to end it. Go out with a bang. Last match of the season. So it's it's awesome to see our captain to stand up and really just set an example for the rest of the team of just being calm and collected and just showing the rest of the team how smash is supposed to be played absolutely now i think that it is very likely that just at this point like we send in i i, I think that we send in the mega man or we give the i think we want to end with the mega man i feel it, like it's true i we I, want yeah it, it does come down to just how long we want this game to be. I think the Mega Man could very much just take out some stocks from the Mewtwo. But the DDD might want to rematch. Even that, I know the, for, for their last... And the DDD and does come go. out. They may be at... They are at a... What is the stock? I think from trying to play this from a, a, start stand, a smart standpoint, what they want to do is... They want to send the DDD, who has the capability to defeat the Mewtwo, which he has taken stocks before. Yep. With North, with uh, the Mewtwo at Truman is at a five stock loss right now. Yeah. So we're sitting here. The DDD just says, "I really want to rematch against him." North Central's looking at it like, "Okay, yeah. But like, what do we have to lose?" Yeah. So we're like, what we're looking at is we want we want the DDD to come out and hopefully, which he will very well likely, take a stock from the Mewtwo. And then we want we want as much wi wiggle room as possible to take down probably the Incineroar. So if, if the Incineroar comes out, which he likely will, we want to throw as much as we can at him so that we can give the, the, the rest of the team an opportunity to beat him. Because as the Incineroar is the best player, that is tough, but the DDD being as a heavy is doing a great job of just staying in the game. Also, just props to the DDD for not going to this hero. We all appreciate we, it. We do. It's coming in clutch for the team right now. Have we seen a matchup between the Samus and the... Okay, that was absolutely beautiful on the Mewtwo's part. Following a reflection with another reflection. That is a 1.5% times damage increase for each reflect. DDD just having so much trouble getting this in. With another B reverse in the wrong direction. All the DDD, do, DDD has to do is just to take one, one stock. He takes one stock and North Central is still doing well. Is the Mewtwo going to Is the Mewtwo here? gonna get a three stock here? That would absolutely crush the DDD's spirit right now. 
but it would be huge for Truman. It would be huge for Truman. Closing off that uh, five stock lead to a two stock. As we do see, the Mewtwo is kind of aware of the reflex and is trying to, to catch the DDD on it. The DDD really wanting to hug that ledge, but he just does not have the range to put the pressure on the Mewtwo to make them approach. DDD pulling out a crouch right there, laying on the ground, and a taunt! The DDD is just trying to pressure them right now. It's possible the DDD is looking to win off time. Oh, but the Mewtwo and it is close. Closing the gap. Oh, to three stock. And he gets a three stock. DDD, that hurts. That does hurt. But as we see, North Central is still in the lead by a considerable amount. Two stocks, yeah. And we're sitting here, we're watching, and we saw that just just this game, the Mewtwo DDD match started with DDD in the like front. We see him almost take three stocks from Mewtwo, starting with two. The second game won, and this one absolutely nothing. The Mewtwo adapted to this DDD, and he was not willing to give him even a cent. Like, a cent. The question is this, does North Central want to send in... I... Does North Central want to save... The Mega DDD? Man or send him Mega in? Because Man. when the, they did send the but, Mega Man in, he utterly embarrassed the Mewtwo. I, but it, it, first of all, is that match no going to go the, the same way as the first time? And two, do do they want to send in the Mega Man? Possibly an Inkling or the Zero, uh, the the Samus. I think that with North Central right now, what they want to do is that they want to take out this lead as fast as possible. And the Mewtwo and the Samus had a hard time before sending the Mega Man in to uh, try and utterly embarrass the. Um, Mewtwo, again, I think would be a better play, just saving as many stocks as possible, coming in with six and do a mirror of the last of the first game, where it's six stocks against one again. Yeah. I think that would be the play. We'll have to see what North Central decides to do. I wonder what map North Central will be looking to do in this next one, if they're going to try and go for a bigger map or a smaller map because they're playing a character that likes range who has shown some uh ability to fight up close but is still not as good at it as they would like to be yeah if they want to do a bigger map a bigger map with more platforms for aerials or if they want to try and stick with a smaller more compact map trying to get them closer to the edge and more in a fight but i mean like I said before, you never know with these games as we with with the, the lead that Rob gave them, we thought this game was just just over. But as we see, the Mewtwo came back and three stocked the DDD. So it's like like I said, while it is in North Central's favor, this matches anyone's. So it'll be exciting to see how this goes out. And let's see if North Central can take home their first Absolutely. conference championship. Yeah. I wonder if the hero would have been able to stop. Yeah, <laughs> bringing out the hero. Maybe maybe that was the move. Follow up with a whack into a thwack into a whack into a thwack into an electric shock into yeah. a whack into a whack. I swear I'm making sense. That, I mean, that that's hero in a nutshell, just spamming random magic attacks until you get something that works. After all, the best hero players are just adept prayers. As the or intense hero, gamblers. It's just, it's just, yeah, it's just press and pr press and pray. North Central still taking their time to decide what they want to do. They're definitely not happy about that three stack and not wanting to give uh, Truman any more of a lead than what they already have. But as we see, it, 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 the the matches are kind of turning out how it was the first game, where yeah. North Central is in a, as of right now, I think a two stock lead. Yeah. It's four to six, a complete mirror of the first game. So, as it was the first game, while second, different characters are probably going to come out, it's going to be phenomenal to see how it's going to end. So, you guys do Absolutely. not want to miss this.
Looks like North Central's finally decided on the map. Truman sent it in the dunk casket. And Man. they send out the Mega Man. They are confident the Mega Man can do what he did before, taking the the stock of the Mewtwo without taking any damage. So if the Mega Man doesn't lose his stock here, we're looking for a very favorable finals final round. Three, two, Absolutely. One, I'll win this go. time, says the Mega Man. He's very confident. Mewtwo taking a moment to look him in the eyes, saying, I'm not going the same way I went last time. That was embarrassing. The Mega Man's going, sure, kid. Mega Man getting the first instance of damage in the Mewtwo. And the Mewtwo touched him this time. Mewtwo didn't touch him that time. Mewtwo putting up much more of a fight. The map is not as small as it was the first time as we sit in Kalos. Mewtwo is just not sure what he wants to do. Mega Man is just not sure how to approach like he had before. Mewtwo in a drastic leap. He might just be able to close this. Nice DI by the Mega Man. Absolutely. Mega Man falling up, trying to get him off the stage by flying him straight up, just narrowly missing that teleportation hitbox. Oh, and is it going to be the same way as last time? It is not yet. Not a high enough percentage, but it is quite close. If the Mega, Mega Man, Man can take this stock without dying, it would be incredible. Mega Man said you had you had me in the first half. Oh, and that oh. that's the stop. Let's see if the Mega Man can finish it off. Mega Man's not gonna be happy about this. He's very angry about how that beginning went, I'm sure. But he's just looking to finish this last thing, and he's looking to make it up in the next matchup. Me too anticipating what he's gonna do, just sitting under his shield that time. Playing a lot safer than he did before. He's seen the Mega Man be very aggressive, closing the gap. Mewtwo two wants another setup. Beautiful, and coming in with the kill. And just like that, that's five stocks to Truman's three. Maybe this will be like the matchup last time, where the Mega Man with two stocks will take the Incineroar with three. This looks favorable for Truman, but if the Mega Man has adapted to how the Incineroar plays and comes after the Incineroar very heavily in the beginning, like he did before, hopefully the Mega Man can take as many stocks as he can, and then the Samus, which will likely come in next, will hopefully clean up. Yeah, that would be quite the thing. It is still possible for Truman to pull their Samus out, though. We can't forget that. As likely as it is for the Incineroar to come out, we don't want to forget that the Samus is still there. That is true. North Central, I'm sure they're feeling just really tired at this point. Just want to end this game. And, and the nerves, come on. This the nerves are definitely coming on. I mean, they were sitting there. I'm sure they went into the match thinking, we're not going to lose a stock. And just like that, the Mewtwo just went insane, almost taking two. So let, let's see... If North Central or Truman can come back. North Central has the lead. Let's see if they do not fumble the bag, which they have. They absolutely have. And as that three stock was a really rough uh, thing for North Central to take. And I'm sure they're really regretting sending the DDD in against that uh, U2. Well, un unfortunately, it was just... The DDD struggled to do what they were supposed to do. And it, like I said, like we mentioned before, as a heavy, it's kind of hard to play on the competitive playfield because while you do so much damage, you also are you also receive so much damage. So it's it's kind of almost in a sense like a glass cannon. Yeah. There we go. The incineroar. And this in. this is 
not necessarily the final matchup, but Truman sends out their final guy, the Incineroar, who has caused the problem to North Central's team. And a final one, destination go. map. A better spot for... And, and no one Mega should be moving right now. What? Mega Man okay. It appears there might be some technical difficulties going on, as it appears that the characters are just having an intense staring contest at the moment. And they have that decided, is what it appears. They've decided they do not want to end this last game in a fight, but in a staring contest instead. And Mega Man can move Looks around. Looks like Mega Man has blinked, but they're going for round two. Oh, no. Mega Man was not okay with the end of that staring contest and has decided just to end it all right there. I think it's just going to go for a reset real quick, so... Really? Are you sure? You don't think it was an all or nothing staring contest? Oh, game? yeah. I, th I think they're trying to even the playing field. I, I, I do think that the staring contest was an intense move that North Central was definitely trying to do, but it just didn't pay off. All in all, we'll probably go back into that match. The Mega Man is going to have to come in, and they're going to do a, another fight. It's going to be two to three. Don't worry, guys. That was not just a sad end to that. Okay, there we go. I'm really hoping for a staring contest part two. I don't know. In terms of staring contests, I, I Mega Man has bigger eyes, so... He does. Might be a little harder to keep them uh, wet enough for that. Mega Man needing to kill himself. Doing another dance. And here we are, guys. At this point, I'm sure the Incineroar is just annoyed. Incineroar getting the first hit in. Pulling that up. As we see, Incineroar is incredibly powerful. Oh, and the Mega Man coming up at just the point where that bomb gets onto him. Just trying to throw him off stage, hoping to get some ledge guards on. The Incineroar playing just absolutely insane. This could be a really rough match for North Central. And a neutral And he's down. down. If North Central can get a stock here, it's going to look very well for them. Almost getting a ledge guard. Be absolutely wonderful for North Central to kill, send in the skill, and start the match with the next stop. Looking like it's a tough one. Ledge guard. Oh, that was beautiful. And a beautiful placement. Almost killing the Incineroar. Incineroar coming back in. At this point, I think that the Mega Man just really just wants one kill. Unfortunately, this Incineroar does not want to die. And finally, finally one stock on the board. At 170%, you guys. The Incineroar really wanting to end this. Mega Man at 100%. One well placed hit could end it all right here. I'm sure the Mega Man really feels the intensity right now. And if you can just get a gimp on the Incineroar to get him to kill himself, it would be a massive play. Mega Man's definitely going to... Oh. And that's tough. But, North Central still does have the lead. Let's see if the Samus can bring it home. Regardless of the outcome tonight, we are very proud of both teams. Absolutely. Very proud of the effort put forth on both. And... Both teams have come a long way. North Central, we are young. And like but the sun. We're doing... We, we have come so far that even, like, even regardless of the outcome, we are proud of how our athletes did. And they've, they've just come so far. And taking Truman in a game is something they've never done before. And it is proud to see that they've done that at least once. Yeah. Hopefully... As we'll find out a second time. It would be wonderful if we could bring home our first championship. The Sam is here with uh, three, one more stock than the Incineroar. I think that that three stock sending in the DDD against the Mewtwo is going to end up being the major contention of this game. But it, 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 I would, I will say that is how a majority of the lead did fall from the the devastating three stock of the the DDD. Yep.
if we can get into it and just if we can get in a good enough position that the Samus just zones and keeps their distance, just dealing damage to the Incineroar before doing the final kill, I think we're in a good thing. But I do not think the Samus is going to want to get up close with this Incineroar. I do not think so either. I think Final Destination is a wonderful map if they choose it again. But the only thing not... the Samus would have to be careful of is the Revenge. You can Absolutely. farm that pretty easily, but if the Samus can keep his distance, he can keep farming damage. Because while, correct me if I'm wrong, even though the Revenge does negate some of the damage, the, the Incineroar does still take damage from the attack. I'm unsure about that. I do know that the Incineroar gets a massive damage increase when he pulls it off, though. It's something that they're going to have to watch out for, and we might just get be blessed enough to see the dreaded Wi-Fi Samus come out here. Would be... All I'm saying, this is going to be a good finals match. Hopefully North Central can pull through. <coughs> the Mega Man did do a lot this game. While they did take out the Mewtwo, they did also take a stock from the Incineroar, which is very helpful to the Samus because they are leading. They are up. So as long as the Samus does what they have done always, I do not see how North Central will lose this. Yeah. But if the pressure gets... To the player it's it, who is going to play their game and that is ultimately going to result who is going to win absolutely if truman can stay cool under the pressure of being down in stocks but north central with the lead can play smart it, it's it's anyone's game and here it is the final game of of the bout of this series it, it, all the marbles right here Hold on to your marbles, because you might just lose. Three, two, one, go! Oh, in a three-platform match, not something I was expecting to see for a Samus matchup. It'll definitely be something interesting. Samus immediately getting through the grab, going for a forward air. Oh, I see what Samus is doing. They want a quick escape from the middle. They're planning on, despite having this map that normally wouldn't be so good, given and there's the revenge. Cases, the revenge, 20% in a single hit. Beautiful. It's doing something beautiful right there. Oh, Samus yes. just coming in strong. Samus is not here to play a game. They're here to win a championship. The Incineroar is... Can the Samus close it? Cinnabar now on the map, but Samus able to hold a good space on it now. Incineroar really wanting that revenge to try and help close the gap. Samus just not willing to give it. Oh, and a knee taking Samus off the map. Oh, and up with it. Beautiful. Fair from off the stage. If the Samus can just secure this kill, it'd be absolutely wonderful. Oh, that. with that, it's going to be a rough one that ends up... But as we see, the Samus is still up. If he can take the stock, and it will still be Samus's game. And that's the stock! And that is beautiful. Now Samus there's just one more. Stocks to one. Having Samus had the lead that entire round, I think it's very possible North Central might be able to keep this lead. Now the adrenaline is definitely flowing, but if North Central can stay collected, there is no way they are losing this. Unfortunate placement for Samus to fall off the map there, making her lose more charge than they needed. But it's come down to the point. A revenge to a shield. And it looks it looks great for North Central. Samus says the Inner War to seems to be struggling a little bit. But I will get you in the And the DI to stay DI. alive. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, but that's Oh and he and this input! This is the input! That just does not give him what he wants. Incineroar definitely going to try and go for the grab again. It has been his main way to get a kill this game. It's definitely going oh, for it. And a power shot? 100% on the Incineroar. Oh. So beautiful. Don't count him out yet. Incineroar's insane killing potential. And oh, but he takes his end lag from the revenge and says, I'm going to use that to my advantage. It's and, is that the game? Out. There! Oh! And nearly there, the DI, there's still a chance for Incineroar to get back, but it's just one well-placed hit on either side to take out this next stock. The Incineroar does have revenge, so he has to be careful, but... 
And a beautiful DI in. in. No, but the back air. 150%. One more stock for Samus. If he can just do this well, he just needs one well placed hit. It's anyone's game right now. If the Samus can just secure a grab and throw him off stage, it would be an absolutely beautiful turnout for North Central. But the Incineroar just not giving in. No! And that's the oh, game. And that's the Incredible game. Incredible effort by North Central, but Truman comes out on top. They tried very hard. The very close game. North Central has did so well. unfortunate well thank you all for watching thank you for watching this incredible finals of the conference that was thank, you, thank you all for coming out and supporting north central it's very supported this is the first time they've ever been in the finals yeah and while it is unfortunate that they lost we are very proud of how hard they have worked to reach this point absolutely and to y'all and Anderson Trappel, we will be heading over there right now. Stay right there. Once again, thanks for watching. Signing off. Have a good See one. See y'all later.